Widespread faucets have separate hot and cold handles that are independent from the spout and come in a range of styles and finishes. Follow these simple steps to install a widespread faucet. Here's what you'll need. Before you begin, turn off the hot and cold water supply lines at the shutoff valves, located beneath the sink or at the main water supply. Then turn the faucet on to release the pressure in the water lines. Next, to remove the old faucet, place a pan under the work area to catch any water. Unscrew the nuts and disconnect the supply lines. Then unscrew the mounting nuts and lift the faucet from the top of the sink. Use a putty knife to remove the old sealant. Clean around the holes with a cleaner appropriate for your countertop to remove all remaining sealant and residue. The next step is to install the center spout. Set the spout into place. Then from below, hand tighten the basin nut. Next, thread the T so the outlets are parallel to the back wall and line up with the faucets on either side. With the center spout in place, the next step is to install the faucet handle valves. Place them in the holes, then slide the washer over the threads and tighten the valve nut until snug. Then connect the valve line to the faucet valve and to the spout T. Now that the faucet is in place, you can connect the supply lines. Apply plumber's tape to the threads of the water supply tailpieces. Connect the faucet lines to their corresponding hot and cold water supply valves. Tighten all the connections with an adjustable wrench. Next, connect the faucet handles to the valves. Apply a bead of plumber's putty to the faucet handle base, then align the handles to the off position. Next, attach the handle and center it. Finally, turn the water back on at the shutoff valves. Then run both hot and cold water for one minute to check for leaks. Installing a new widespread faucet is a simple way to improve the look and function of your bathroom. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.